My name is Alexander Iheme. I am the center manager for Belivers Care Society. Belivers Care Society is a non-profit organization for the youth and their development and for the general community members. BCS was established in the year 2006 and was formally registered with the Department of Social Development in the year 2007. Our projects are premised on poverty alleviation and sustainable livelihood, social development and health promotions. Our primary target groups are young people, young people from disadvantaged communities between the ages of 18 and 35. Though we also give services to other community members that are above the ages of 18, even above the ages of 35 years old. All our youth development centers as public benefit organization is strategically planted to serve the communities where they are located. Our head office is located in Telfontaine um, in Ward 55 of Region F of South Johannesburg. We serve the communities of Ward 55, 124 and its surrounding, working with the local councillors. In Ward 55, we work with Councillor Rashida Landis. Hi, my name is Councillor Rashida Landis from Ward 55. I do work with Believers Care and I've been working with them for the last seven years. My experience with Believers Care is that they take all my youth and my goals now off the street. And especially the Gorgos that's over 45, that fear felt in the past that there's nothing more that they can do in life. But when you go to the graduation ceremonies, that you find the Gorgos there, over 45, and in the early 50s, that graduated from the ECD centers, and that can drive the little ones in my area. Our key projects include accredited skills development programs, job placements and entrepreneurships. Um, we have 21 full qualification courses that are accredited through the Department of Higher Education, the CITAS and other international quality assurance bodies. With the support of the Department of Social Development, we do roll out these qualifications into the disadvantaged communities for young people to ensure that the young people have an opportunity to be skilled, to be prepared for the world of works, so that they can contribute meaningfully to the economy and to their family. We also have a satellite office at Denver in Ward 65. We also work with other community development practitioners within the city of Johannesburg, also working in Ward 61 with Mr. Ngomezulu Tolani. My name is Tolani Ngomezulu. I'm a community development worker from Kota, of which is a cooperative governance and traditional office. We are working with a, a community uh, of Malvern, Denver, George Koch. Uh, at large, of which is basically in the world 65. The Believers Care Society is doing a good job at our communities, especially who, who are in an informal segment, in informal segment in the hostel, where our community they don't have some amount of sources where they can be able to practice and do it, some other courses, other than they didn't go to university because of their lack of finances. We are in partnership with the United States President Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEPFA, working with Ms. Christiane Wendler. Um, so my name is Christiane Wendler. I am the country director for the HIV AIDS Community Grants Program within PEPFAR. Um, PEPFAR is a program of the United States government um, that is run in partnership with the South African government to address the HIV epidemic in South Africa. Is that Believers Care is very focused on the community in which they work in. Um, uplifting the community, not just addressing one thing. As, as we know, community issues do not address in silo. HIV, which is PEPFAR's focus, is related to poverty, is related to um, inequality, is related to teen pregnancy. And so Believer's Care is really fantastic in about addressing the needs of the community and in a holistic fashion. And, and that really came out in, in how they work with they work with us and, and in the things that I have seen them evolve and grow in the time that we've been working. We also run youth clubs within the communities and health clubs 
in the high schools. Yeah, my name is Pren Tombela, staying in 17. I was a beneficiary at Believers Case Society in the year of 2015. I studied system development at BCS. Today, I'm an official for the Department of Sports and Recreation, Arts and Culture. BCS was my stepping stone to the department. Through the course I done at Believers Case Society of System Development, I could apply all those skills that I've learned into my workspace which is aerobics, netball and soccer because now I've learned ways on how to construct uh, systems of development in all these sporting codes. Uh, so that is my way of giving back to the community, passing on these skills to them uh, on a daily basis. I would recommend PCS to the youth uh, to take charge of this opportunity that has been uh, placed in our community. It is a center for free learning education and development. The youth should utilize this opportunity because uh, I believe I'm a living example of one person that studied there and then those were opened because of Believer's Case Society. So I would encourage everyone to go to Believer's Case Society, find out what courses they are doing, how long, see if they've got an interest or if they will enjoy it. And uh, trust me, everybody will enjoy it because I did and I'm still part of it today. We run social change programs that improves the social behavior of young people. The projects include substance abuse uh, awareness program, early pregnancy prevention campaigns, leadership development programs for young people. We also run moral instruction sessions. We have visionary leadership um, workshops. We also have crime prevention programs for youth that are susceptible to crime. My name is Aya Nda Ndemande. I am a drama facilitator at Believers Care Society. We try by all means to contribute our skills to Believers Care Society and to those young people who are committed to art or to filming and acting. We take them to our incubation program where they further their acting skills as writers and so forth in terms of shaping the world. As a non-profit organization, we would love to thank all our sponsors and stakeholders that has made it possible for us to do so much this far. We want to thank you so much for all that you are doing for the communities. We are encouraging members of the community to please get involved in the projects. You can be involved as a volunteer to offer your expertise or even to learn new skills. We also want to ask the corporates to please get involved. You can get involved by sponsoring a project. It could be in your own nominated community and we can plan the projects in your own community. The projects that are in line of course with your corporate social policies. Our desire is to see young people living their lives to the full, fulfilling their dreams and living their God-given purpose. To be freed from unemployment and poverty, we envision a drug-free society. We envision a global continent where young people take leadership, take initiatives to make their lives better and to bring prosperity to their nations. This is who Believers Care Society is, this is what we do and this is why we exist.